It's the shape, the form, the proportion. It's our iconic grill shape. It's the balance and integrity of materials. It's beautiful, crafted, sculpted. It's something groundbreaking that no one's seen before. Yeah, we were allowed to break the rules somewhat with this one. It really showcases what Aston Martin is all about. Power, beauty and soul. DP100 is something very, very special for Gran Turismo. For me, the initial idea always starts with a sketch. Producing something which is touched by human hand, but it's seen in a virtual world. What's unique about the car compared to everything else we do today is its mid-engine layout. As true mid-engine, DP100 allows us a completely different form language but still maintains the Aston Martin feel and character. We've effectively used the same processes, the same principles to design this car for the game that we would in putting a car on the road. So all the shape and the form had to be real. We look at three elements, the sketch, the engineering and the CAD. And we also have the delivery through sculpture. Beauty is probably number one. We spend an obsessive amount of time looking at the car in different lights to make sure this car looked great from every single angle. With the design of a car like DP100, the colours and materials are hugely important. We're able to link some of the exterior finishes and interior finishes and be totally free with where we can apply them. With the virtual world, we can push the boundaries. For a designer, it's the ultimate in freedom. We give the car a lot of power. We've been very inventive with aerodynamics. It's going to have the great feel, perfect balance, and that sound, that rush of sound each time you change a gear. That's something which is so special in Aston Martin. You'll feel all of that in the DP100. All of our racing technologies, all of the passion that we put into our road cars are here in DP100. It is a true winner.